good morning everybody it's a very pleasant morning and also a great occasion for all of us to cherish where we have two esteemed guests this morning honorable shri sumit malik ji and honorable shri sitaram gunte ji we have also with us his excellency the consulate general of china and his esteemed wife my senior colleague from the university dr anil patil the director of bcud is also here and we have the founder of orf mumbai respected shri sudhendra ji kulkarni and my another senior colleague and the director of confucius institute which has been established under the financial assistance from the government of people's republic of china and the university of mumbai about 3 years ago and dr vibha surana is also the professor of german in our german department dear colleagues from the university respected colleagues from orf mumbai our senior colleague from mantralay shri moghe ji and their colleagues from mantralay and also friends of orf and the university of mumbai and the respected madam uh, malik madam and uh, my dear friends as all of us have been visiting this place time and again this is a wonderful creation of architect abha lamba ji who is also present here and i want to gratefully acknowledge her continued contribution for letting the world know how this heritage of the university of mumbai has been preserved nurtured and left for posterity to appreciate about 10 years ago when the university of mumbai was celebrating 150th year abha lamba ji had immense contribution in reviving our convocation hall for which the mumbai university was conferred with heritage award by none other than the unesco we are housed in this very beautiful building of rajiv gandhi center whose director dr puri is also with us and i also want to thank him though the decision of such space creation and allocation is of the management council of the university but it was a so called intrusion in the form of allocating space from within this building but with due consent from dr puri and uh, he was very happy that the true meaning of contemporary studies is justified when such inclusion is there and uh, we were also looking for an activity for our confucius institute which was functional from garware institute on the campus then we were also uh, able to allot space to confucius institute within the sanskrit department from there which uh, it functioned for few months but when this concept and conceiving of idea of having zishan lin center was put forth by sudhendra ji based on the commitment of honorable prime minister who in 2014 during his visit to china had visited fudan university and and had seen the functioning of mahatma gandhi center over there and at that time he sounded that a similar activity in the name of zishan lin can be started within india in due course and sure enough when our honorable chief minister visited fudan university last year he reiterated he reiterated what the desire of honorable prime minister was and stated that in maharashtra we would like to start this particular center which honorable prime minister desires to start and uh, taking that as a guideline sudhendra ji approached the university of mumbai with this novel concept of having india china studies in the name of zishan lin center we were aware that we already have academic programs run through the confucius institute by way of level 1 to 6 mandarin learning and few researchers also beginning to do research we felt this will complement the zishan lin center's activities would complement the confucius institute's activities and why not we have a common space which can be utilized by both with little bit of independence by way of administrative setup 
and that's when I thought of Rajiv Gandhi Center. And we have some beautiful auditoriums on our campus, which we have provided to the International Film Festival this year, where 29 international films were screened in one of our auditoria. And the rest of the auditoriums are now getting equipped in the form of digital auditoria. And one such beautiful facility is available within this building itself, which will be ready in the form of digital format within a couple of months from now. And we are very glad that we have already secured funding for all these activities. And therefore, when this space was identified, we thought we will be able to get it done to the level where everybody will feel proud. And we are also very grateful to the Consulate General, His Excellency, for his continued interest in our activities and wholehearted support and also personal interest that the academic activities in the name of both these nations should take a real shape where people from both the countries will benefit. And with this motive, we have now come to a stage where the making over of the space commonly created for both these centers is already in place. We are also hoping that in near future, Honorable Chief Minister will visit Fudan University, where an MOU, which has already been drafted and is under consideration, will be signed by the University of Mumbai with Fudan University, uh, particularly with the Mahatma Gandhi Center and the Confu uh, your uh, Zishan Lin Center. And we are very happy and grateful that uh, Honorable Shri Sumit Malikji and Honorable Sitaram Kuntiji came here to see the developments that we have taken uh, initiative with and uh, they would like to also give us some guidelines and guidance in taking this activity further at the policy level as well as at the government level. So we all are very happy to welcome both of them and their colleagues from Mantrale and also Mrs. Malik for this uh, visit. And I once again thank both of you, sir, for your time and look forward to working with you closely in various aspects of academic excellence. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.